Welcome back to this, the fourth episode of the Veterinary Business Video Show. This show made possible with the support of Teleos Systems, setting new standards in veterinary practice computing. Coming up on today's show, we'll look at the growing interest in the business of veterinary practice by students at veterinary schools in the United States and the UK. We'll take a closer look at the Teleos Systems Practice Management Service and at an interesting veterinary practice website from Hong Kong. I'll show you a nifty business tool to help you monitor the working capital ratios for your practice and we'll look at my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan and this is the show that helps practice owners, managers and clinicians just like you to build your successful practice into a great business. One of the exciting and encouraging developments in the business of veterinary practice during the last few years has been the growing enthusiasm by veterinary students to learn more about the marketplace in which they will practice their profession, the importance of HR management and communication skills, and the imperative for veterinary practices, that is, those businesses concerned with the delivery of professional veterinary services, to be successful commercially and financially, as well as professionally. Last year, I had the pleasure of recording an interview with Dr. James Wilson, a lawyer and veterinarian in the United States. Jim Wilson teaches veterinary law, ethics, business management and career development at 20 or more vet schools throughout North America. He's also a faculty advisor for several veterinary school chapters of the Veterinary Business Management Association. See what Jim Wilson has to say about the benefits which students can gain from membership of the VBMA. Every veterinary student goes into veterinary school with an IQ that doesn't change. What does change is the ability to learn all the rest of those pieces of uh, becoming su successful so that one is able to blend together uh, personal finance with career development, with life skills, financial skills, and all of that then leads to happiness, inner happiness, satisfied clients, happy staff, uh, all those kinds of key ingredients that provide for passion to go to work every day. And if you don't have a passion for work every day, it's work. Here in the UK, there's an active chapter of the VBMA at the Royal Veterinary College in London. And the new vet school at the University of Nottingham includes personal and professional skills modules during each of the five academic years. I was delighted to be asked to contribute to the Business and Entrepreneur Program and look forward very much to speaking to the students in November and to developing a business game for the Year 4 program to be held in the spring. Karen Braithwaite, Director of Academic Support and Admin at the school, and Liz Mossop, lecturer in the Faculty of Medicine, are both heavily involved in planning and delivering the program and I was pleased to meet them during my recent visit to the Sutton Bonington campus. See what Liz Mossop has to say about the undergraduate program at Nottingham. My name is Liz Mossop. Um, I'm um, a vet. I've been in practice for quite some time. Um, and in 2006, I became a foundation member of staff at the University of Nottingham's brand new vet school. Um, our um, curriculum here is quite different to a lot of other vet schools. Um, our policy is all about trying to prepare graduates to be out there in practice from day one and to be able to contribute to their practice and to have some really sound day one skills um, that the RCV vets. One of the elements that we thought about quite hard um, and in fact that was fed back to us by vets in practice that was very much missing from undergraduate curriculums was to give the students some kind of training in business skills so not to make them into immediate entrepreneurs or you know being able to run a practice but to give them some kind of understanding about the fact that veterinary practice is a commercial environment and that it's important that they do um, appreciate the pressures um, that their boss may be under to, to run a practice and, and to make a profit um, and the fact that you know they're taking a wage packet home every month and they've got to have contributed to that wage packet and to understand you know the pressures of that and 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 where their boss might be coming from when they make particular decisions about how much CPD budget they get or you know what new bits of equipment they're going to buy 
also um, what we've done as part of our um, professional skills curriculum, which I look after at Nottingham, um, we've integrated some, some business training which we're about to roll out for the first time um, this year um, and which John Sheridan has been helping us to um, introduce. So um, the students are going to follow a curriculum which is just two hours a week um, with lots of external speakers which will keep them nice and interested, talking to them about different aspects of management and business such as marketing aspects, such as practice management aspects, all sorts of things, a bit about leadership and the kind of skills they'll need there and of course also underlying through it um, elements of the practice team and how they're going to fit into a team when they come out into practice. Dr Jim Gazzard, who leads the veterinary business modules at the Royal Veterinary College in London, says that veterinary business tuition must not be isolated from other parts of the curriculum and most importantly it must be workplace relevant and involve practitioners in its delivery. Jim says that it remains to be seen whether the professional bodies, veterinary schools, employers and students will collectively foster an, envi an environment where early career veterinary business tuition is recognized as essential. He adds that if such developments take place, their worth will ultimately be measured by the economic health of the profession in the years to come. What do you think? Just click the comments link above this screen and let me have your views, comments and suggestions. Now I'd like to take the opportunity of thanking Teleos Systems Limited for sponsoring this episode of the Veterinary Business Video Show. Teleos Systems Limited is a specialist company dedicated to providing innovative, cost-effective computer solutions for all types of veterinary practice across the length and breadth of the UK and Ireland with a user base of more than 300 practices. It provides all the standard features you would expect plus many innovative ideas. It's simple to use, immensely powerful and incorporates a report wizard that allows bespoke reports to be generated for virtually any combination of search criteria you may require. You can post pet insurance claims via your Teleos program through Vet Envoy and the company maintains an excellent ratio of support staff to clients and is always pleased to supply a full list of clients for reference purposes. So if you're considering a new or replacement practice management software program to manage your client and patient database, take a look at Teleos. Here's the link. It's at www.teleosvet.co.uk. You'll be pleased that you did. Now for the VetBiz website search for this episode. When I'm preparing articles, business tools, news, views and other resources for the Veterinary Business Briefing website, I spend a lot of time looking at veterinary business related websites from around the world. Here's one which you might find of interest. It's the website for the Nine Lives Cat Hospital in Hong Kong. This is another practice that has recognized the importance of a practice website and of including content which is a practical educational benefit for pet owners in the locality as well as for their own clients. The Nine Lives Cat Hospital website includes a number of how-to video clips including